everybody and in this video we'll be doing a video on the Movavi clips so what I'll do is I'll cut the video and I'll be back all right so as mentioned I'll be doing a video on the Movavi clips and Actually, I think specifically I'll be doing a video on working in on working with audio in the Movavi clips because that can be a little bit hard and a little bit tricky. Oh, hang on a bit. I think I've opened the wrong up. Oh, we've got a video loaded now. Right, we've got the video up now. And we're going to click on the wide screen. Okay then, so... Working with audio in Movavi clips is... going to be a common feature that someone will ask for in the video editor and what we mean by working with audio is when you're using music in your videos and that you would want to have control over the music where it starts and ends in the video and also at times you would want to decide what part of the music you want in the video rather than the whole song and the full song so that is what I'm going to show in this tutorial first of all you're going to want to add your music of, of course so um, I think we're going to use this exhale now Movavi clips can go a little bit unresponsive sometimes so you do got to bear that in mind whenever you're using the app yeah so we'll be using this exhale tune So what you can do is you can also rewind and forward wind the video by using two fingers and doing the gestures from left to right or from right to left if you want to rewind or forward wind video sometimes. Now working with music in Movavi clips is hard because if I wanted to end the audio there I would have to click on the add button and while that may sound a tiny thing if I play the video you can see and here, rather, that the music is still playing. What you need to do, however, is you need to click on this icon here, which is the delete icon. And now, there is nothing, which is what we want. So if I go back to the beginning, Now you will get that sometimes, the audio jumping in Movavi clips. But anyway, I don't mind that. Talking about 
me not minding about the jumpy audio in Movavi clips. One of the things that I am going to show you is the music fade feature where you can decide whether the music fades in or out at the beginning of a of a song so we've got this thing at the bottom off music fade in and out and audio fade in and out and if I rewind and turn the volume up the fading function has worked so also as mentioned earlier in the video I can also decide what part of the song that I want in the video so I think what we're going to do is probably remove that audio and I'm going to add another song if I find the add button I do find that the buttons are a bit tiny on this personally So I'm going to choose this star drive by Jeremy Blake and I'm going to let the tune play a little bit so you can tell for yourself. Alright man, so I think that's that. So anyway, to decide what part of a tune that you want to play, we're going to need to scroll down in the video and forward wind. And now I'm going to choose a particular part of this tune that I want okay rewind a little bit okay so similar process again we add or press the add icon rewind delete okay so that's the tune And these icons are actually too close together. Anyway, I'm going to rewind the video to the beginning or to the very start. So, um, move here. Oh, move! Exclamation. Okay, so going to play. Rewind. So it's at the very start of the video. The unfortunate thing with the Movavi clips is that when I am rewinding or forward winding with the move feature, when I'm using the move feature, it doesn't really show, doesn't really give a time progress, so where I am, whereabouts I am in the video, but I don't know whether 
that can be viewed visually or or what but it's not really detectable to the screen reader so whereabouts I am in the video so I just have to do a little bit of dilly dallying to to um you know see what specific part I want to see what specific part of a song rather I want to add to a specific part of the video but luckily that specific part of the song was going to be added to the beginning of the video so I didn't have to do too much faffing around now one thing I want to show you last of all is when you're working with background music now right, I think I'm gonna cut that from the end there Bear with me. Yeah. Okay, hello. Right, so let us add another track which we're going to use as our background music. Now the unfortunate and sad thing with mobile clips is that when you add background music as you will hear in a minute I'm going to put the audio to 2% or 1% actually and turn this thing up to 100 which is the video volume sometimes the audio would be fairly loud in a way I mean not too loud but if you are watching this video on a TV then the loud audio is going to be very prevalent and apparent and can actually make watching the video a very unpleasant experience so yeah you might be able to hear the audio very slightly but if I can hear the audio very slightly or you know fairly comfortable enough watching it on the TV is going to be a very bad and unpleasant experience so I would be careful when using background music in Movavi clips okay then well I hope this uh, I hope this video is helpful to you and thanks for watching certainly finding this information was helpful to myself because I did spend hours trying to find out all of this and um, you know teaching myself but the thing about it was the add button and when you use the add button you would have thought that it would be used for adding music and you know not trimming the music in its duration and the same can go for videos and videos is a slightly slightly different issue where it's a bit more complex but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos to come and I will see you soon Thank you.